Unpackage Casualty Management Shelter, hereafter referred to as CMS. Spread floor in the exact area you want your CMS. Place CMS in center of floor, making sure yellow dots face the open ends. Unband CMS. One man at each corner, spread CMS over floor. Raise tent at both ends simultaneously using poles provided. Secure to flooring. Adjust tension at frame of walls. Place flap over framework to avoid trip hazard. Stake CMS. Secure tie down. Place color-coded triage tarps as directed. Once the tent is completed, we're going to take the bed frames from the storage area so that we can align enough beds to be able to take care of the patients as they come in. The beds will be aligned along the walls ensuring that there's enough space to work between each bed and enough walking space to take patients down the center. Once all the beds are in place, we'll insert more equipment. Initially, we'll put in the crash cart, and the crash cart is filled with items that are more for individual use, not as much as a cardiac arrest. We install boards along the walls, to ensure that there's a place to put all the equipment that's needed for each patient. The next things to do is install the oxygen system. The oxygen system consists of an H cylinder of gas that's uh, stored outside the tank and a single hose that runs around the perimeter of the tent with 10 individual flow meters. At the end of the tent, in the opening, at the archway, it's important that the oxygen uh, system between the flow meters number five and six go over the archway. The hose system can be either woven through the structure of the tent or attached with carabiners as shown here. All the components for this, the flow meters and the regulator, are uh, a specific color that's unique 
in the hospital to this, and they're all purple. Um, here you can see the hose being strung out uh, down the tent. There's a carabiner, very simple to install, and you want to have that roughly at between uh, waist and shoulder height as installed right here. This can be done very quickly. Here's uh, the tank being set up. Here is the regulator for the tank. The tank has 2,000 pounds of pressure in it. It's uh, just a standard H cylinder of oxygen. The regulator, either this chrome one as shown or a purple one that both come in the bag, are assembled. The hose is connected to it and then the system is plumbed to run around the tent. All of these uh, are the entire gas system. All those flow meters and the regulator are pre-assembled, kept in a green duffel bag, labeled as such, and it contains an instruction sheet with a very simple drawing on there and in how this is laid out in the tent. We now take the equipment that's going to be needed for each individual bed determined by which area that they're actually in. The delayed items will require less equipment than the immediate items. The immediate will be full patient monitor and suction and whatever items that the doctor requests to ensure patient care. The delayed area will actually have less monitor needed. What you're viewing now is the role infection prevention plays in any mass exercise. Our first priority is to keep our staff and patients safe. And by doing so, we provide hand gel uh, to do hand hygiene in between patient um, contact. We also make sure that we have a hand wash station, which is um, water-based for any visibly soiled hands. Um, we also have our PPE available, which is personal protective equipment. We want to make sure that our staff is wearing when they come in contact with any body um, fluids. So again, we have um, our PPE and we have our hand gel for in between patient contact and use and our hand wash station for any visible soiled um, hands. So again, our number one priority to prevent the spread of infection is hand hygiene. And there's our hand wash station.